Hello, I'm Full Moon Beaver, and welcome to Cube Color Review for the Xbox One. So, basic stuff you got on your menu screen here for the options. I keep everything the same, so it doesn't confuse me as to why it's not working. And you've got the level select there, or the continue option above, but I'm going to start from the very beginning so you can see what the little backstory it has. It's, it's quite unique, I'll give it that. But uh, it's also a very uh, interesting little puzzle game. One that I like to look at from the word go. And if you've played uh, Qbot, the complexity of simplicity, it's quite similar. Not saying it's completely similar, but you know, you, you get the gist of it if you've played it. And that is you. You are that cube, and that big one over there. But forgive me for saying, but I think that looks like the companion cube from Portal. Very interesting little nod there to a fine, fine game. I won't say this is on the same level. It hasn't had the same funding, so you know you can't expect same sort of a quality game but this is as simple as it gets to start with nice little learning curve it's not throwing you in at the deep end and then little information blocks tell you just some basic things just to help you along your way and if you don't get gold medals on the first set of levels then you you will struggle to be honest but one thing I do like is if the colours match, the platform raises. If they don't match, it lowers. So as you get further and further into the game, you really have to start using your head. There's some very f fiendish little puzzles where you think you've got it. And then you go to take the path through the level you think. And you completely mess it up, as I found on level D4. That one held me back for quite some time, but I do like it because it makes you think and you have to work backwards to solve some of the puzzles and I do love this game. It's, it does make you think and it is a challenge, but it's not one of them ones where you, you feel frustrated. I think Fractal Box, who've developed this, have got that spot on. I mean, they've worked in conjunction with Move and Player, who were kind enough to give me the code for the game to review anyway, and I've got to be, got to be honest, it, you know, it's a very generous thing, and I, I'd love to see more games like this, you know, little indie games, because there's a lot of complaints out there from people who don't like the indie games and whatnot, but this game has 150 levels, so you are going to get value for money, and there is a hardcore mode which I haven't unlocked yet. Um, I'm almost at level 50, so it is taking its time. Um, if you're here for the achievements, they're not going to be quick. You will have to put some effort in to get them. As yet, there are no guides, so you, you are going to have to go off on your own and solve these levels yourself, which, to be honest, isn't a bad thing. I don't feel like I'd want to rush through something like this. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd like the challenge. Um, let's talk about graphics now. They're very simplistic. Nothing complicated, but it looks smooth. And that's all you can ask for, really. I mean, I love the idea of how the, the colours are needed for, for lowering and racing the platforms, whether they match or don't match. Uh, that's, for me, spot on for an idea. Um, music and sound effects, you heard the music at the beginning when I started the video, that, that's pretty much it. I mean, you don't need music for a game like this. Um, sound effects, they do their job, so as far as I'm con concerned, you, you know, I can't really complain about that. It's, I mean, it com all comes down to what I'm going to talk about next, which is playability. And there's 
so much playability in this game. You've got 150 levels, as I previously mentioned, then the hardcore mode, and to be honest, that's quite a lot of content for a game that's not going to cost you very much at all. It's out today, which will be May the 20th for when the video is out. I'm recording the previous night, but I'd suggest go out and buy it. You're going to pay, I think it's about six or seven pounds over here in the UK, so it's about ten dollars in the US. I'd recommend it. It's a, it's a good challenge, it makes you think, and there's a great learning curve. You know, you, you get some easy levels to start off with, and as you progress, they get a little bit more fiendish. You get some levels where there's uh, restraints where you can only have a set amount of moves, or you're racing against the clock. So it, it, it does give you a bit of a challenge here and there. And obviously I've started off on the set of levels in C. I skipped B altogether. I just wanted to show you some of the trickier ones. See, and then you see what I've done there? I've got it wrong. <laughs> see, just a simple thing like that and you think you've got it and then you come to do it. And like I said, you completely mess it up. But, uh, no, I, I do think Fractal Box and Moving Player done a good job with QB Colour here. It's a, it's a nice change of pace from all the other indie games and it's certainly worth a look into if you like your puzzle games. I'd recommend it wholeheartedly. It's brilliant. I mean, achievement hunters probably won't like it but you know, there's nothing wrong with actually working for something there. And um, The levels I can see getting very very complex towards the end but you know I don't mind that but uh, definitely do like the portal easter egg with the uh, the big black and white cube as you start the game that that was a nice little touch for, I know but I know there's not much more I can say because it's not like a really in-depth game with a huge deep storyline it's plain and simple it's a puzzle game one that you're either going to love or not, you know. If you like puzzle games, get it. If you don't, I'd say avoid it, you know, to save the disappointment, to be quite honest. And this level, and this is another one that I had a bit of issues with. And I was stuck on this for a little while, but nowhere near as long as I was on level D4, but you know, you got it's all trial and error, you look when you start the level, look around, see where you could go, see if you can figure out the, the route through, and then work backwards. That, that is probably my uh, best uh, bit of advice for you with this game. Um, I will be getting some codes for a giveaway. Um, I wanted to do it for 400 subscribers, but uh, I spoke to Moving Player. They said we won't have our codes for the giveaways ready until the beginning of June. So there's going to be a bit late celebrating the 400 subscribers milestone that I hit. I'm currently at 419, so give it a couple more weeks. And I may be about 450, 440, something like that. Oh dear, look at that. Oh dear me. I fail again. So, keep an eye out on my Twitter. I'll announce it as soon as I've got the codes and how many. And hopefully, if you're after the copy of this game, you'll be able to get, get it for free from yours truly, the Beaver. And. Hopefully you'll enjoy it too. Anyway, what am I going to give this? I'm going to give this a 7.5. Um, it is a cracking little indie game. I do really enjoy it. And I do like the little port Easter egg as well. So that's a nice little one. But anyway, 
Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll see you soon.